so we're going to try something new today. Uh, it's scalloped potatoes with sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. So uh, this is just totally winging it. So we'll see how it turns out. None for dogs. Okay, so we're making this new friggin' redneck sort of, um, uh, what you call it, friggin' scalloped potatoes. So you just, you know, put a layer of each sort of potato down and uh, um, stuff like that and blah, blah blah check this out the redneck friggin milk jug the handle off the other one broke so I had to friggin rig one up there but you know so a layer of each sort of thing and then uh, we got um, I mean milk and mushroom soup sort of mix right there and just put like a just a little spread a little bit out on that and uh, so you're going to want to get just some regular all-purpose flour, just give her a little dusting, just to coat the, the layer there. And then uh, a few, few pats of butter, just sort of spread that out, whatever, here, there, wherever. Maybe a little extra in there. And um, uh, just a little bit of cheese. Spread that around while you're a little there. There'll be several layers, so you don't need too, too much. It's probably good. And then we got um, some roasted garlic and peppers. So just give her a, a dusting of that, much as you like. Sort of got some uh, parsley here, too. Just a dusting of that. And this stuff, you definitely don't want to put too much of that on. Friggin' onion salt. Just uh, a little dusting of that. And uh, where did the salt and pepper shaker go? Can you cover it? Oh, there it is hiding. Right where I find it. Give her a little of that. Don't need too much salt just because there's already some of the other stuff. So. Just keep doing that. Another layer of uh, sweet tades. They're my favorite. They're cheaper than friggin' white tades and they taste way better and they're better for you and everything. And stuff like that. And, well, my parents gave us like, half a friggin' sack of the white ones. I can't remember the last time I actually cooked a friggin' white potato, but you know, just layer of this, layer of that. Keep, uh, keep doing that until she's done and cheese and stuff and this and that just like I showed you and uh, once that's done we'll uh, show you uh, what's up okay so there it is all uh, all layered up and stuff showed you how that went so we're gonna the, the ovens at 350 we're gonna fire this in there and uh, cook these bastards up um, so it'll probably, you know, depending on how thick your pan is and stuff, might take up to an hour or so. Just if you can sort of take a knife and stick it in all the way to the bottom and pull it out without pulling half the friggin' potatoes out, then you're good. So we got this cheese, 10, 15 minutes before it's done, we'll take the tin foil off, spread the cheese on top, let that melt in, get all bubblylicious. And then uh, we got chicken here for the barbecue there. Uh, I'm sure you guys can figure that out, like step A, turn the barbecue on, you know, step B. Friggin' put the chicken on, step C, barbecue sauce it up, step D, friggin' drill her in you. But, uh, yeah, I've showed you that several times, so, uh, we'll, uh, once this is all done and everything, we'll show you how it turned out, and, uh, remember, if you eat today, thank a farmer. Okay, so there it is. We'll, uh, scoop her up and serve it up and see how she tastes. Sweet.